Good morning, Calvary. I'm Mark. I'm with the Soldiers for Jesus Motorcycle Club, the Havasu chapter. Uh, wanted to get together with you this morning and uh, give you a little bit of word to help encourage you through the day. You know, it's not that we really need a lot of encouragement with the day that we have because we've got God on our side. And I'm so thankful for that. Today we're going to go through uh, uh, Mark 7, 24 through 30, if you want to look that up. But a little bit of background, we're, we're with the Motorcycle Club and our target ministry are other motorcycle clubs. I'm, I don't really like to call myself a pastor. What our uh, purpose is, is to reach out to those that have been lost and hurt and hopefully become a stepping stone so that they will return back to God's covering and back into the church. And so it's kind of hard sometimes to wrap my head around it, but God's called me to go into the darkness and be a light. And I found out uh, through my relationship with him that that's all of our call. What works in my ministry and where we are is just like in this scripture today. It's so important because the other clubs are watching everything that we do. And you know, Jesus was in that same place. And so today, we're talking about this lady that, that heard that Jesus was coming. She had a problem with her daughter, and she had what she said was that she was demon-possessed. And she needed some help, and so she went to Jesus. She cried out and asked him, please, to release her, her daughter from this. She loved her daughter so much, but the problem was that she, was, she wasn't a Jew. She wasn't really a part of the family. And Jesus tried to explain to her that, you know, he was called to, to come for his people and to help his people first. And she responded very quickly and very wisely and said, but Lord, you know, the, even the dogs are allowed to eat some of the scraps off of the master's table. That moved his heart. And he uh, said, you know what, you're right. Your daughter is healed. And when she went home, she found her daughter healed. But the question today is, what do people see in our lives? What do people see in our walk? Is it just that we go to church? Is it just that we claim to be uh, a believer? You know, as for me, we have to wear uh, a vest and a cut. We wear our colors. And I tell the other clubs that my bottom rocker does not talk about the property or the, uh, the, the land or the state that we own or possess or control. My bottom rocker says Jesus because it is who I serve. Some people think I have a target on my back, but you know what? That's, that's good because it stirs people up to go beyond what they think or what they believe or what they want. It stirs them up, and that's what we need. We need to find ways to apply the Word of God into our lives each and every day and in each and every situation to where it'll open up a door to where we can be the light in our own darkness. God's called us to walk through this life and to glorify and honor Him, and I'm done hiding. We need to stand up and be the men and women of God that He has declared us to be. To, to help those that are hurting, to help those that need help, and to lift them up in prayer. We are constantly facing these things in our day, and each and every day is a wonderful opportunity to help somebody to fall in love with Jesus, to help somebody else come to the saving grace of our Lord. I pray with you, I lift you up today, and I'm asking you in the name of Jesus, reach out to somebody. Don't miss an opportunity. Stir up their hearts with the way that you live, the things that you do, the things that you say. Let them see Jesus come alive in your life and let it help them to come to know him as their savior. God bless you guys. Love you and I'll talk to you soon.